Last time we talked about themes and applying a theme. This time we're going to talk about your site branding. So we'll click on brand and it'll bring up two options, palettes and logo. Now due to some nifty little uh, tricks that the Drupal Garden site has set up, uh, when you click on your palette, it automatically changes the color. Now I like, I happen to like this original color. So I'm going to leave the palette at this original color with the blues and things because I like blue. Um, but we can change these uh, font colors later. Now on to the logo. Your logo is kind of your site icon. So if we click browse and we go over to some pictures that I have. And I just find the pictures that I want. And I'm going to take this one because I think it's kind of funny. I'm going to make it my site logo. And it'll take a second and upload it and you see there's my site logo. It's kind of big. But what I can do is edit it to make it a little bit smaller, which I've already done. And I'm going to call that icon. So I open it up as icon and you see it's a different picture but it's a little bit smaller. I shrank it down in an image editing software. Made it a little bit smaller. It's a little bit more manageable. Drupal does not auto scale your images uh, for your logo or for a lot of other things. Now the fave icon is different. The fave icon if you notice right here is that little icon that shows up in the address bar. Now this will show up in most browsers. Well, I like the little Drupal guy. I really do, I think he's cool, but I don't want him for my site. So I'm gonna take the same image, icon.jpg, and I'm gonna open that as my fave icon. And you see automatically it changes over here, over here, and then down here. Since I'm pretty happy with how that looks, it's got my scary little whatever image. I'm going to click Save, and it'll ask me if I want to publish it. This is a published theme. Saving will publish this theme. Do you want to continue? Now, if I click OK, it'll be applied to my site. If I click Cancel, it'll ask me to save as another name. So I'm going to click OK. And there it saves. Voila! You have finished your branding.